In this video, we're going to take a closer look at tangents. More specifically, we'll be talking about how to prove a line is a tangent. Let's get into it. So whenever you're given a question and the tangent to the circle is given, it normally falls within one of these three theorems. So we understand for the first theorem over here, this is the tan core theorem, whereby this angle over here should be equal to that angle over there. We could also have the radius perpendicular to tangent theorem, which means that the angle between a radius and a tangent is always at 90 degrees. The last theorem in which we have tangents are tangents from a common point, whereby we say that the angle that we have here will be equal to the angle that we have here, due to the fact that the length of each of your tangent would be equal. Now you use this in questions when tangent is expressly given. You're literally told that this line or this line or these two lines are tangents. But now how do you answer a question when they ask you to prove that the line is a tangent? So whenever you get a question and they ask you to prove a line is a tangent, it normally looks like one of these two scenarios in which you see. This looks very similar to tan chord and radius is perpendicular to tangent. We need to be able to prove that the angle that you get from here should be equal to the angle that you get from there. Now, if you are able to prove that D is equal to C, then therefore you can prove that ACB is a tangent. And the reason you're going to give is that it is the converse of tan chord. The same thing will apply for this radius perpendicular to tangent. Because if you're able to prove that the angle that you're going to get here would be 90 degrees. So you're saying that C is equal to 90. If you can prove that C is equal to 90, then therefore ACB is also a tangent. And the reason for that would be the converse of tan perpendicular to radius. And this is exactly how you prove a line is a tangent. Now, I know all this is looking a little bit weird. So we're going to do an example of this to help you guys understand this a little bit better. So we have the question here, which says that A, B, C is an inscribed triangle where CD is parallel to AB and meets the tangent BD at D. AD cuts the circle at E and we are asked to prove that CD is a tangent. So we want to prove that this line that we have over here is a tangent of that triangle. So I'm, let me try highlighting it. Maybe that will help matters a little bit. So we are trying to prove that CD is a tangent to, to the circle BED. So now, if this is your tangent, as we said, and this is the triangle, you can see this kind of looks like your tan chord. So I'm literally trying to prove that D1 is equals to B2. So if you are able to prove that D1 is equals to B2, then therefore, it would also mean that CD is a tangent for this particular circle over there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try to get. I prefer to work on the circle to make like a rough draft before I start to write the rest of the answer. So I see D1 over here. If I say D1 here is X, A1 would also be X because this is an N, an alternate angle. A, B, E. I see that that's a triangle 
with three chords interconnected and it is connected to a tangent because we know BD is a tangent. So if this is X, this angle here would also be X because that would be tan chord. Now I kind of have what I need to write down. So from the first statement, I understand that So D1 is equals to A, one alternate angles because CD is parallel to AB. The second statement I also know is A1 is equals to B2, which is a turn chord. So therefore, we can now say that D1 is equals to B2 from our original statement CD would be a tangent. And the reason for that it is it's a converse of tan chord. And this is how you prove that a line is a tangent. Whenever you get a question that it tells you to prove a line is a tan chord, it is always, like we said before, going to be one of these two. Either you're going to prove that those two angles are equal because it's tan chord or you're going to prove that the angle between the two lines is 90 degrees because it is tangent is perpendicular to radius i hope this helps i hope this gave you a better understanding of how to prove tangents in the description there are other videos on euclidean theorems you can check it out you could also check out other videos on the channel on different other topics on your way out, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.